step-by-step -step demonstration on how to assemble the Orion PJ Micro Welder so that you can start welding in a matter of minutes. First, I want to congratulate you on your purchase of Sunstone's Orion PJ Pulse Arc. It's a tiny machine that does fabulous things. Or if you are considering of purchasing one because it is a fantastic machine that is compact. I'm going to open up this box and I'm going to assemble it to show you how easy it is. It's a lot smaller than this box. So here we go. Okay, so this has just arrived and we're going to open this up. Your package of goodies. It's always well packed. Um, that includes the stylus with the electrode, your power supply, and extras with a brush. So here, you can just hold it like this. It's very compact. Here's the user's guide. So now, this is the auto dimming lens. What you'll need right away, just to get started, is, well, this is the alligator clip. I'm gonna use that to demonstrate. Here is a light source with extension cord, the power, power supply. Here I have everything unboxed and I'm going to show you from this angle how to assemble all of this. First, the electrical cord, I've got it on the other side, plugged in, and then you just plug this part in. You'll see that the light goes on so that your power supply is on the ready. This is the machine and you'll have the buttons here and on the back you have a bunch of things. So that is for the stylus, the power, so the power goes here and it says shutter there and that this is for the shutter and basically it is the auto dimming lens. So this has a clip and you just plug it in like that. If you need to take it out, you have to press down so that it unlocks. And there you have that. This is the stylus. And you can remove, it's hard to remove the first time, but thereafter it's a lot easier. Here is the protective sleeve, and I could just put that aside. For the electrode, uh, for the stylus, and in here is where the electrode goes. So on this end, like this, you will see that there is a button there's a little red button and you just have it facing matching this button and it plugs in. It's hard to take out because you have to hold on to this grip, pu pull it a little bit to release it and then it goes. So it's a safety mechanism. So I'm going to slowly do this. If you pull back, it releases this notch, this little bit, so the notch is exposed and it'll release. So go like that. Make sure it's measured together. And there you have it. Now we're going to put on the power here. So 
Now that is hooked in. And now you see that the lens isn't turned on yet. That is because in the front, you have to set, you have to turn it on with this. So here is the stylus, it's like this. You'll see if anyone has ever used uh, a Dremel or a Fordham, any sort of tools or even a drill, um, this is miniature form, the electric drill. This is a collet, so you make it bigger or smaller and we're going to put in, um, you get three, uh, five standard tungsten electrodes that come in the package. And you'll see that little, little um, bit here, the right sanding disc. That is to fit your Dremel to sharpen the electrode a little, la little later on. So, uh, one of these will last you a long, long time. So we take this like this, turn it counterclockwise, fit this in like that, okay? And how I measure is I put it so that if I go like this and it reaches this notch, that's good. You can see if, and then turn it clockwise, just tighten. You could check, make sure it's the way you want and then tighten a little bit more. And then it snaps in like this. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm gonna make it a little bit closer like this. Now, you can just rest this in. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt this and you'll see that it's lit in the back and you can see through the lens, it's somewhat dark, um, but there are lights here. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see. There are LED lights here so that you can see what you're doing through this. I'm going to set this aside now and show you this little beauty. So this PJ is fantastic in that it is slender and it comes with two of these alligator grounding clips. Oops, I, I got those tangled, but they're nicely coiled once you, when you open the, the package. Okay. So this, you can increase. It starts off at 15, but oh, maybe what I'll do is so you can see, even though that is my favorite color, this might be easier to see. So the energy at jewels, like that, you can start off. And I, I think it's much better to start at seven. It's my lucky number, seven, is something that you can weld easily 22 to 24 or 20, yes, 24 gauge standard jump rings from 22 and even 20, you can weld at seven. What you do here, you've got the alligator grounding clip and this, you just fit it right in like this. And this side you clip onto your jump ring, your chain, and then away we go. Now, you have to turn this on just like that for it to go. So it has to do this. And we're going to now test out welding and you'll see the effect. Okay, so I'm gonna use a large jump ring here to demonstrate welding. So you clip onto one side like this, turn it on. I'm going to explain this in a bit. And then you put it underneath and where the seam is, you weld 
I'll show you what happens. There. You see, when that happened, this lens goes dark. So as to protect your eyes. Basically, you've just done your weld and it didn't take very long to set up. So that's great. Now, I'm going to explain this part. Sometimes in the past, you know, my, my hand, because this is very sensitive, the screen, my hand goes by and by accident, like if there was heat or you bumped, and then it's not what you're expecting. The great thing with the Orion welders is they now have a locking mechanism. So you lock it so that no matter what you touch by accident, bump into it, you are not going to get any surprises. So that is great. And with this, you can change the interface. You can, but actually, I really do like my blue. However, we're going to continue on with the orange, which is very nice. And there you have all of these pieces. So I would say keep this handy with you. Um, this one clips very tiny jump rings, but I find that this one clips it onto all of, I use that for pretty much everything. And then after you've welded this brush, it goes like this, you turn, you keep, you, you can, it's pretty long. It lasts for a long time and it cleans. And then to renew this, you simply trim as you go longer. And I would say, keep it. I like to keep it really short because then it's, it's a straighter brush. You can make it longer for softer brush. Now, this tube right here is for your argon gas. On this video, I don't have time to show you argon gas, but I have another video to, to set it up for you. It's the same the difference for any in model with power the argon gas and characteristics between the impulse and the PJ. The other thing is this is on a spring lock mechanism. You'll see. If you push this in, it goes in very easily, but you can't get it out that easily. What you have to do is you have to push down this. When it when you push it down, I'm not sure if you can hear it, there's a it will release. So all these wonderful safety features. And now you're ready. And if you happen to own a pair of grounding pliers from Sunstone. All you have to do is substitute this for this, and it is grounded pliers that will make your life a lot easier because it's a pair of pliers and alligator clip all in one. I hope you found that useful. I'm a wholesaler of premium quality chains findings, as well as a plethora of jump rings, different gauges and sizes. I'm going to leave a little link note below about our company, as well as the Orion Micro Welder.